Ever wonder why some people can spend endless hours at the gym and see little to no results, while others seem to get fitter with each passing day? It's a puzzling conundrum, right? This is often because of common misconceptions about fitness and bodybuilding. The truth is, without a comprehensive understanding of key principles such as nutrition, strength training, flexibility and recovery, progress can be elusive. Fitness isn't a one-size-fits-all concept, it requires a tailored approach based on individual needs. The journey towards fitness starts in the kitchen, not in the gym. A phrase we've all heard yet it's worth repeating because it's so fundamentally true. Nutrition forms the base of our fitness pyramid, providing the energy and raw materials our bodies need to function, grow, and recover. But what does nutrition really mean? Well, it's not just about counting calories or following the latest diet trend, it's about understanding the roles of macronutrients and micronutrients, and ensuring we consume them in the right balance. Let's start with macronutrients, proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. Proteins are the building blocks of our muscles. They aid in repair and growth, making them essential for strength and endurance training. Carbohydrates are our primary energy source, powering our workouts and replenishing our energy stores. Fats, often misunderstood, are crucial for hormone production and nutrient absorption. Now, on to micronutrients. The vitamins and minerals that facilitate countless biochemical reactions in our body. They support immune function, bone health, and energy production, among other things. Without them, our performance would suffer and our health could be compromised. But let's not forget about hydration. Water plays an essential role in every cell, tissue, and organ in our body. It regulates body temperature, transports nutrients, and helps with digestion. Staying hydrated is crucial for optimal performance and recovery, especially during intense workouts. Now you might be thinking, that's a lot to take in, but don't worry, you don't need to become a nutritionist overnight. Start with small changes. Prioritize whole, nutrient-dense foods. Aim for a variety of fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, healthy fats, and complex carbohydrates. Stay hydrated and listen to your body's signals. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all approach to nutrition. Everyone's needs are different based on their goals, lifestyle, and genetic makeup. The key is to find what works best for you and to stay consistent. Remember, your body is a finely tuned machine. It needs the right fuel to perform at its best. So make nutrition your foundation and watch your fitness journey take off from there. Strength training isn't just about lifting heavy weights. It's about building a stronger, more resilient body. It's the cornerstone of fitness, the foundation upon which we construct our temples of health and well-being. But what exactly is strength training? It's a type of physical exercise that uses resistance to induce muscular contraction, which in turn, builds strength, anaerobic endurance and size of skeletal muscles. It's not just about bulging biceps or chiseled abs. Strength training fortifies your body, making it more robust, more capable. One of the most critical aspects of strength training is proper form and technique. It's not about how much weight you can lift, but how well you can lift it. Every movement should be controlled and precise, engaging the right muscle groups and minimizing the risk of injury. Think quality over quantity, form over force. Now let's talk about compound exercises. These are exercises that engage multiple muscle groups at the same time. Think squats, deadlifts, bench presses. These exercises are the bread and butter of strength training, providing the most bang for your buck. They not only build strength, but also improve coordination, balance, and flexibility. But remember, strength training isn't a sprint. It's a marathon. It's about consistent, gradual progress. It's about pushing your limits, but also respecting your body's boundaries. It's about understanding that progress isn't linear, that there will be ups and downs. But with every rep, with every set, you're becoming stronger, more resilient. And let's not forget, strength training isn't just for bodybuilders or athletes. It's for everyone, regardless of age, gender, or fitness level. It's a tool for health, for longevity, for confidence. It's a tool that can improve your quality of life in countless ways. So let's embrace strength training. Let's celebrate the power it gives us, the resilience it instills in us, the confidence it breeds in us. Let's see it for what it truly is, an essential tool for shaping your body and boosting your overall fitness. Flexibility is often overlooked in fitness regimes, but it's a key component of overall health and performance. It's the silent hero of our fitness journeys, the unsung melody in the symphony of our bodies. So why should we care about flexibility? Well, it's more than just being able to touch your toes or do a split. Flexibility helps improve our range of motion, 
aids in preventing injuries, and enhances our overall physical performance. It's the oil that keeps the machinery of our bodies running smoothly. But how do we improve flexibility? The answer lies in stretching exercises. These are movements that aim to lengthen our muscles and increase our joint mobility. Think of it as a gentle tug of war between your muscles, a friendly competition that leads to a win-win situation. There are two main types of stretching, static and dynamic. Static stretching involves holding a stretch for a certain period of time, usually around 30 seconds. It's like a peaceful negotiation between your muscles where each one has the time to express its concerns and agree to a compromise. On the other hand, dynamic stretching involves moving parts of your body and gradually increasing reach, speed of movement, or both. It's more of a lively debate where your muscles are constantly exchanging ideas, pushing each other to reach new heights. But stretching is not the only way to improve flexibility. Yoga and Pilates are two popular methods that combine strength, balance, and flexibility exercises into comprehensive workouts. Yoga, with its ancient origins and spiritual undertones, guides us towards inner peace while gently stretching our bodies. Pilates, named after its creator Joseph Pilates, focuses more on core strength and spinal alignment, all while promoting flexibility. Remember, flexibility is not a one-day affair. It's a journey, a commitment, it takes time, patience, and consistency. But the rewards are worth it. You'll find yourself moving with more ease, your body will feel less strained, and your athletic performance will improve. So, let's not forget this crucial factor. Let's stretch beyond our comfort zones, explore the world of yoga and Pilates, and invite flexibility into our lives. Incorporate flexibility exercises into your routine for a well-rounded fitness approach. In fitness, rest isn't laziness, it's a necessary part of progress. This principle is often overlooked in the pursuit of physical excellence, yet recovery is a key to progress in fitness. It's the time when the body rebuilds and strengthens itself in the aftermath of a rigorous workout. Now let's talk about sleep. Sleep is the ultimate form of recovery. It's during those deep slumber hours that your body gets to work repairing muscle tissue and replenishing energy stores. The importance of a good night's sleep cannot be overstated. Aim for 7 to 9 hours of quality sleep each night, and you'll begin to see the difference not just in how you feel, but also in how you perform. And then there's active rest. This isn't about lounging on the couch all day, though a good movie marathon has its place. Active rest involves low-intensity activities that keep you moving without stressing your body. Think leisurely walks, light yoga or a casual bike ride. These activities can help increase blood flow, promoting faster muscle recovery and reducing muscle soreness. Finally, let's not forget about techniques like foam rolling and massage. These methods can help to relieve muscle tension, improve flexibility, and speed up recovery time. Foam rolling in particular is a type of self-myofascial release that uses pressure and movement to help soothe tight, sore muscles. It's like having a personal masseuse on hand whenever you need it. And massage, well, who doesn't love a good massage? But beyond just feeling good, massage can help to improve circulation, promote relaxation, and aid in the recovery process. So as you can see, recovery is about more than just taking a day off. It's about actively nurturing your body and providing it with the tools it needs to rebuild and grow stronger. Remember, your body grows stronger during recovery. Make it a priority. Because, after all, progress isn't just about how hard you can push, but also about how well you can recover. In fitness, consistency isn't just key, it's the lock, the door, and the whole house. Consider this, you've got your diet on point, your workout routine is top-notch, your form and technique are impeccable, but you're not seeing the results you desire. Why? It might be because you're lacking the secret ingredient, consistency. Consistency is the glue that holds all your fitness efforts together. It's the difference between working out occasionally and making fitness a lifestyle. It's about showing up day in and day out, even when you don't feel like it. It's about pushing through the discomfort, embracing the sweat, and relishing the burn. Consistency is the product of motivation and discipline. It's about setting your goals and chasing them relentlessly. Whether it's shedding a few pounds, building muscle, or simply staying active. It's not about being perfect, it's about making progress, however small, every single day. Consistency is what transforms average into excellence. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. And so it is with fitness. Each squat, each crunch, each healthy meal brings you closer to your goals. Remember, fitness is not a destination, but a lifestyle. It's about making small, sustainable changes that add up over time. It's about finding joy in movement, strength in weakness, 
and resilience in adversity. So, don't wait for tomorrow. Today, take that first step. Embrace the journey towards a fitter, healthier you.